video tonight showing what led up to a deadly motorcycle crash in Cedar Rapids. The video shows the driver speeding at more than 100 miles per hour and weaving in traffic for miles along interstates 80 and 380. Police say the motorcycle slammed into an SUV in Cedar Rapids. That shut down the interstate for hours. KCRG TV9 State Capitol reporter Connor Hendricks reports on the challenges these super speeding sports bikes pose for police. Iowa DOT traffic cameras first pick up 30-year-old Ramius Hardeman on his motorcycle in Tiffin on I-80. The timestamp on the camera is 439. The fast-moving motorcycle is last seen on a traffic camera in Cedar Rapids on I-380 at 451, less than a mile from where he crashed. A nearly 24-mile drive in 12 minutes. That's an average speed of around 120 miles per hour. Public safety expert and former police officer Bill Stanton says those high speeds are particularly dangerous for motorcycles. Changing from a motorcycle to a projectile, and it's actually two missiles. One is the 1,200 plus pound motorcycle, and then the driver. You know, unfortunately, not only resulting in the potential of fatality for themselves, but for anyone in its path. Speeding motorcycles also pose a problem for police to enforce. If someone is determined to break the law and speed 50, 60, 100 miles over the speed limit, you know, unfortunately, just a solid object is going to stop them. Iowa State Patrol policy allows troopers to start a car chase only if the risk to the public is greater if the suspect gets away. Stanson says that's often a tough judgment call. Did they shoot at anybody and then jump on a motorcycle versus someone who's in a high traffic area, high pedestrian area that takes off, you may not be as quick to pursue that person thinking there may be collateral damage. So whether to pursue or not pursue, I would respond in a case-by-case -case basis. Stanton says there are other ways to catch speeding motorcyclists. Cameras where they get ticketed and then if they don't pay the tickets there's a suspension on their license and then if they don't respond to that there is a warrant issued for their arrest. Stanton says riders should weigh the costs of speeding when they get on their bikes and whether it's worth the risk. From the Iowa Capitol Bureau, Connor Hendricks, KCRG TV9 News.